Is your novel too short for where it should be? And are you unsure of how to make it longer without making it drag on and be boring? Then you'll want to stick around, because today we're discussing how to fix your story's midpoint, which will help you lengthen your novel the right way. Let's get started! Hey guys, Nora here, and welcome back to my channel. For those visiting for the first time, hello, I'm the fantasy author of the novel Divinity Falling. Be sure to subscribe for weekly writing advice videos. So a while back, I made a video titled, Is Your Book Too Short? 7 Tips to Lengthen Your Novel. And to this day, it is still one of my most watched videos. What this tells me is that a lot of writers struggle with the length of their novels. But that's okay, we will solve this together. Here's the thing. A lot of times, when your story is shorter than it should be, the problem is the midpoint. That's not to say that other parts of your novel are perfect, but the midpoint is usually the culprit. What is the midpoint? Well, it's literally the middle of your story. It's the 50% mark, give or take and it plays a similar role as your inciting incident. Basically, think of it like a secondary inciting incident whose purpose is to raise the stakes and give your protagonist a new mission halfway through the story. But without a good midpoint, writers don't have any plot fuel to keep the story going. Because that's what the midpoint is, it's fuel. You must get to the midpoint and fill up on gas so that the rest of your story is just as exciting as the opening chapters. That's why so many underwriters end up with sagging middle syndrome. This is where what you right between the opening chapters and the climax of your book just sags. You don't know what should happen in the middle, so the middle ends up boring and full of pointless filler. As a result, you rush the story and wrap it up quickly, leading to a novel way shorter than it should be. So now that you understand where things are most likely going wrong, let's break down the midpoint further so that you could implement it and lengthen your story with exciting plot points. In the beginning of your story, you introduce the inciting incident. This kickstarted your protagonist on their journey. Perhaps they won the million dollar lottery, and the rest of the story is about the big changes happening in their life. Or perhaps they witnessed a crime, and the rest of the story is about them running away from the criminals. No matter what your inciting incident is, the first part of your story will, for the most part, be about your main character reacting to this inciting incident. They might be changing how they look, buying a new house, and going to fancy parties with important people. Or they might be dyeing their hair, purchasing a gun, and plotting how to survive without losing their fingers and toes. So the first half of your story is usually easier to write because you have fuel from your inciting incident. Now, when you get to the midpoint, you must think of another catalyst even bigger than the inciting incident so that your character reacts once again. In other words, you must raise the stakes. How do you do that? Here are some ideas. Your protagonist is given some sort of deadline before someone they love gets hurt. Or there's a literal ticking time bomb. Or just as your protagonist thinks they're going to fix everything and set their world back in order, another crime occurs. And this time, it happens to someone they know. Or your protagonist attends the party of the year with a cute date on their arm, only to find out that their date is only with them because of a dare. As you can see, the midpoint doesn't have to be your character's life in danger, but it should still be an incident that raises this and makes your character question everything they've done thus far. Now, they must proceed differently. They need to come up with a better plan and figure out whom to trust, because things are about to get worse than they've ever been. From this midpoint, your character might not only need to watch their back, but also the backs of those they love. Or they need to safely stop a bomb and prevent future attacks. Or they need to prove to the world that they're not gullible and stupid. And if that doesn't give you fuel for the second half of your story, I don't know what will. So raise the stakes at your story's midpoint to create more fuel to lengthen your story. So that's all I have for you today. I'd love to know, what incident are you planning for the midpoint of your story? Let me know in the comments. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I put out weekly writing advice videos that will take your story to the next level. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media to see what I'm up to from day to day and to chat with me. And before we go, I just want to give a quick shout out to Sarah Frain and Alan J. Early from my shout outs here over on Patreon, as well as all my amazing patrons. Thank you all so, so much for your support. I really, really appreciate you. And remember, nor for presidents. <laughs>